I want to talk about the biggest thing that top photographers won't tell you. Here is a website that's from Yuri Akurs. He's the top selling stock photographer. He's got about 400,000 images and actually he's got 80 staff. He's got his own studio in South Africa, I think it is. If we look at his images, then you can see they're really good images. You've got all the different expressions. You've got the right lighting and the right props. And each one is telling a really good story. So he's doing everything right. And if you were to learn from these photos, then you could learn about what angles to use, where to have the lighting and things like that. So all of those things are important, but I want to look at some statistics that he gave out on his blog in 2016. He talks about how many images and how many staff and everything, but this is the one that's important and it's his selection rate. So from his raw, he only selects 2%. That's two in a hundred images. And that's the real important thing that people don't talk about when they're teaching you photography. They don't say, take a hundred photos and then pick the two best. In other words, if we look at these images, for each one of these that he's accepted or that he's kept, he's done 49 that he's rejected. And that's the real secret that you've got to take so many shots, just keep shooting, 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 different positions, different expressions, and then you just keep the best ones. We can also go to National Geographic and see the same thing. Here I've done a search for National Geographic on Google and you can see some of the good images here. One of a lion is really good. You've got a tiger here with a really good expression. Then some people looking at fish that have made this kind of ball of fish here. So really unusual photos. I was wondering, is that the same amount of images that they keep? Maybe they take 100 and they keep 2% or keep two of them. Well, I've actually saw this statistic on it. A typical assignment, they would take 20,000 to 60,000 images. And usually only a dozen of those, in other words, 12 of those will actually be published. So that isn't 2%, it's actually 0.1% or they're only keeping less than one in a thousand. So if we go back to those images, for example, this one, they've kept one image here and they've rejected more than 999 images. And the same with this one with the lion, they've kept this one and they've rejected like more than a thousand images. And same with this one, a really good image here, like a orangutan hiding behind a tree but it's taken them again a thousand images to get this shot. And that's the real secret is to take so many images and then just keep the best ones. So what do I do when I'm doing my stock photography? I don't want to take a thousand images and just keep one. So in a typical day, I'll take maybe 300 images and I'll try and keep between 30 and 50 of them to use. With National Geographic, they say that they don't adjust the colors and they they don't actually edit the images too much. But for me, I'll adjust the colors to get more images out of the shots that I've got. And then I'll crop them and different things like that. So I try to keep maybe one in 10 or one in, if I can, one in five, one in six. That's the thing really. So my advice here is follow the normal things. I use CIAS. So C is for color, look for color. Then I for interesting, look for subjects that are interesting and preferably go to a place where lots of things are happening. Then you can actually get some interesting photos. A for angles, so take different angles, go between something, above something, look down, look up, go in close or come out far. Then you can take lots of photos. And the important thing, just shoot, shoot, shoot. So keep taking lots of photos and then just pick the best ones.